Okay, here we go. Episode 40 of our campaign playthrough of our Dark Hero Shade. So, we are getting down on quests. Divine Right will be our second last quest, so the last quest will be fighting an actual dragon. We need to finish off the Ritual of Flame. We're not going to change anything up with our commerce. Um, the, the Divine Right would, ideally, we would have green or white heroes. We will check our heroes what we do have to see how we can best uh, use the heroes that we have that represent those. Visit the infirmary. Kresslin got hurt, which is a little bit too bad because he does have a lot of green. Also a pretty good hero for us. As I mentioned, uh, we can see here there's no more Tavern Tale. The last one we did was the last one. That will change. The only reason we ran out is because we did six extra quests, but through our poor Tavern Tales coming in, like I mentioned, in, the, in an upcoming update, so there'll be a few more options there and make sure that no matter how you play your campaign, you'll be good for a while. If we ever do any DLC or further updates, we probably will put in a few more as well. Uh, market, yes, we, yes, please, we'll check it out. Could get the sergeant. I think I will take the berserker for another mercenary. Pretty good. And we won't shy away from them. We're not buying a power. We'll refresh, opportunity, guard duty, which is switching our experience for resources, or the dangerous job, wound a random hero to gain some campaign resources. It's tempting, but we don't really need the money. Silver sword relic, uh, we've already fought the werewolves, so not going to buy this card right now. And both of these powers I'm not interested in at this time, so we will look to check out our heroes to see who we have. So Lady Jane is our top uh, top white hero. She also has green, so for sure she is coming. This is our new hero, no white or green. Athma, no white or green. Aowen does have white and green. Uh, Aowen is, doesn't have five white though, she has three. She does have other green guards. I think we will bring Aowen along. I do want to see Lalavan. So if we take Aowen. Orcos does have some green, but we'll put him on the bench because he doesn't have a lot. Tank does not have, tank is all black. Kirloth does have a little bit of green. Wick doesn't have any of it. Karnan does have some white. Ragnarok is pretty much all green. Merry Minstrel only has two white. So we will instead take Ragnarok apprentice mage does not have any white or green so i think we're going to try with this setup um we have two a-list heroes here we're not bringing athma um but we do have leleven and aowen and aowen is probably instead of a tier 3 hero she's probably a tier 3.5 she probably will get some balances and knock her down a little bit uh Especially the card that pro is the first likely get knocked down will be this one. And this will probably change to for 2 XP. Might still gain 2 Forest Friends, but the Forest Friends uses will probably, they'll probably become a 1 use card instead of a 2 use card. They're just so, so strong. And with that... We will get started on the Divine Right, our second last quest, and if it's successful, this will be our second to last uh, video of 
of the series. The hour of facing the dragon is growing ever closer. As spring blossoms, the temperature begins to rise foreshadowing the dragon's inevitable arrival. The knowledge gleaned from the ritual of flame will enable you to conjure a ward strong enough to stop dragon's fire. This will be Tell's holding salvation from the mighty creature. Most of the other requirements to finish the ward will be easy to attain. However, the most important ingredient, the one you now seek, will be difficult to attain. It takes some time to research the location of the Chalice of the Chained God, but at last you have a lead. This sacred chalice is the key ingredient for the powerful spell of warding, but retrieving it will not be easy. It is said to be guarded by dark angels who protect their god's treasure with fierce determination. Okay, so here we have this celestial, this fallen celestial. Only have to beat them two times. They have quite a bit of defenses. They have quite a bit of life. Uh, they have this erotic punishment. So this one isn't too bad, actually. Their ambition is, is a little bit on the weak side. But they do have on the side of justice. And this is where our white and green really comes in. So we gain one balance every time we play white or green essence, but we lose one for generating another essence. If the card has both of them, you you get the benefit of the doubt, doubt. Like, so if a card has white and black, you'd get the white and you don't suffer the black. Um, this is another very strong power. Whenever a foe is defeated, we destroy a random card from our play area. And this one isn't too bad, but it, it does add up. When you shuffle your deck, you gain a wound. So tough, a tough uh, arch villain here. And he wins when we have eight or less heroes. So he is going to, we need to make sure we always have nine or more. So we're pretty good at recruiting and recruiting early. So don't think this will be uh, an issue. The chapter is Savage Hunger, which depending on if we brought a whole bunch of wounded heroes and had to heal them, it could be a problem. Uh, hunger just destroys the lowest, one of the lowest cards you have in your discard. If you don't have cards in your discard and this comes along, nothing happens. And he'll win if you get to 50 cards destroyed, which is quite, quite a high number. So likely all right. The quest, I would like to win it, but I really don't know that we have the full cards to do it. Oh, we have Athla too, so we actually have three top tier heroes. But attaining five Hero of Deeds. This will be a big challenge to get. I don't think that we're... I would, I would like to get it, but I do not think that we have the cards to get it. So I'm not going to spend multiple attempts trying. I'm sure that with this deck, I could eventually get it, but I'm not going to spend multiple series uh, trying to trying to get this with the deck we currently have. Instead, I think we'll just work and beat Istarnar down twice and move on to the final episode, the final battle against the dragon. So, that said, first we can play this card safely and I'll take a hex bolt we will play our genie gift and gonna get lost in the wild and we'll take a breed 
There comes our shadow step. As you can see here, we're almost down to our first dark deed, just from playing our pretty much our standard-ish cards. I'm going to try and beat this arch villain if I can, which I don't <laughs> Might come up just a little short. 13, let's put their hide and shadows, we'll activate backstab. Should be enough. Now we see he's already up to 50% victory, but that's because we haven't recruited a lot of heroes. We'll use our stables. That doesn't count as a hero card. We will get Bucky Destiny. That does. And 21 attack is more than enough. Uh, his death swarm is ador annoying. But we will take the arch villain first. Don't know if this actually triggers. Oh, it did because yeah, our assassins have destroyed that, so we get that card for free. And as blood for blood, we will just we would destroy a random card in our play area. So I don't think I'm even going to try for the Marrow Skeleton at this point. We do have the Bleeding Wound, we can leave him. I think I'm content with just letting him go along. Erratic Punishment. Um, the Hero's Demise. Well, we've got a lot of good cards in our hand. Hopefully we don't lose a good one. Yeah, we lost one of the ones that I didn't want to lose. It would have been nice to put the Marrow Skeleton bottom of the deck, but we didn't. But we will... That. Currently decent attack. I'll take another Lost of Woods. And I'm going to go after the Death Swarm. But Sow Terror, Sow Terror is annoying. Uh, basically takes the first resource we earn every turn. He ended up destroying this trader, which is fine. It kind of helps us along. Blessings of death, I am willing to roll the dice and willing to lose potentially any one of those cards. We'll see what happens. We destroyed Lost in the Wild, one of the better ones, but it's the risk I was willing to take. It gave us a pile of attack, so we'll see if it was worth it. We'll play our Shadow Step. Whole pile of woods. We can play the Lost in the Wild, which, can we generate a green essence? Not at the moment. Maybe we will buy this one. And would like to trigger the good eating. We'll do this and trigger our next regeneration. Bad omen. Well, our lucky destiny, definitely play this one. And 
win anything. Heavy War Horse, pretty good attack, or Strike from the Shadows should get be enough to win the game on turn three. The Lost in the Wild will send the white back to the deck. And we'll hire these mercenaries. Do we have an Abyssal out there? Yes, we do. It's a 30 attack on turn three. And his power here will not trigger, but could be pretty nasty if that had been the first one. We would have lost all of our zero cost cards. Like, depending on when you get it, it could be really good. Clean them all up. But I mean, that does help all of his plans. So, I mean, we could have outright lost to him, possibly, if he had brought us down. If he had gotten down to the required hero amount for him to win. I think that's eight. We had had less than eight heroes, so we did get lucky on on what we did to fight him, but if we had lost, it would have been a quick loss, and we would have just planned it a little bit better and not won on turn three. We would have built up a little bit more of a, of a deck, so we could have survived that, but worked out good for us. This will be a short you defeat episode. The prize champions and retrieve the chalice from the dead body of their leader. A well armored man arrives on the scene just as you claim the chalice. He steps wearily forward and kneels before you. My order has heard of the recent plights of Tell's holding. Unfortunately, the town may yet suffer more as we have reports a dragon has been spotted in the region. The order sent a small unit to aid you in whatever way we could. Alas, I am all that has survived the trip. We had hoped to arrive days ago, but we ran into troll troubles in the mountains. The trolls ate my comrades and our horses. I managed to fight my way through, and am here now. I am Sir Balin the Grey, and my sword is yours, if you will have it. So Sir Balin the Grey is another tier, top tier hero. We didn't really get to see Lelevan, but we didn't eat him. We went through it so quick. So... Uh, we were talking about the campaign experience. Well, this is definitely we'll challenge Sir Balin a du to a duel to the death. Assuming this means we just win it because it doesn't say anything, and with this amount of experience, you get a lot. But anyways, we will take this. Our campaign experience is very high. We see also we did complete the Ritual of Flame, and our last quest is the Dragon's Destiny. But we will wrap this episode up here. Thanks for tuning in, everyone.